taking a live look at downtown Jacksonville through our South Bank Sky Cam. The city is on track to see its hottest July on record. Temperatures today have been in the high 80s and low 90s. Another heat wave is building this weekend. The excessive heat has the new Jacksonville mayor's office worried about what's to come. And that's why a new heat task force has been formed. We begin our coverage tonight with news from Jackson reporter Jim Piggott. Jim has been out in the heat most of the day and shows us why the city thinks they need to be dealing with this heat problem now. You know, we know it's hot out, but right now it's only 91 degrees. But I just want to show you something of how hot some places really are. For example, when I check the pavement right now, well, it's showing 140 degrees. But I think what surprises me most, this is my car. It's been sitting out here in the hot sun all day. If you check the dash up here, and I'm just drawing this thermometer on it, look at this. It is 193 degrees. You know, this again is a cooler day. You can imagine what's going to happen as these temperatures increase. And that's something the city is preparing for because they say this isn't going away. We caught up with Shante Carter and her family this afternoon walking downtown. Now, I asked about the heat and the expected heat wave next week. I think Jacksonville needs more pools, more community centers, uh, more, more things to bring people out, like a little splash park or something for the kids on these hot days. The mayor's office has been listening and formed a new committee that's looking at how to deal with the excessive heat. Excessive heat warnings are a public health threat. So we are working on a plan to provide people around Jacksonville some relief. Stay tuned on that, but uh, a lot of folks are looking at this issue and we are putting together a response plan. Uh, it's a heat task force in effect so that people can cool off, get some water. It's hot. It's not good for our health and we want to be responsive. Not only responding by trying to get as many city pools open as possible. Right now, only 18 are available. And once school starts, they'll only be open on weekends until Labor Day. The task force is also talking with the Jacksonville Transportation Authority to possibly get people to cooling centers once they open, or even using the buses as cooling stations as well. Shade is also important, and that's why the mayor says she's budgeted over $1.5 million for tree maintenance. She says it would not only make neighborhoods look better, but help reduce temperatures and add other benefits. The concern is not only what's happening now with the heat, but what could be coming down the line. Dr. Sunil Joshi is the city's new chief health officer and is on the heat task force. We have to be thinking about summers in the future, too. Just like we have a hurricane preparedness plan every year, we're, we're going to now need to have an excessive heat plan as well. So we are all prepared. You know, this committee, they've only meeting twice. They met today as well. And they should be coming out with recommendations in a short time. We're live on the South Bank. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station.